week is out, I'll pray. But frankness is due to one who prays my every kiss. So I make it plain in my refrain. Just going on a little hike because it's super snowy and uh, cold. Nice weather. I was hoping to uh, I was hoping to get a shot of the dam with the drone from above because it's probably a bit icy now. Dam's right there, but uh, yeah, as you can see, the road is not accessible now, so I had to walk to get uh, anywhere near it. But um, yeah, the drone only flies up to 500 meters and from here I guess it's more like 600 to get above the dam so that didn't work out as planned but I took some uh, photos, some clips of uh, snowy trees from above which My I always like So I have the luxury of uh, having two cameras, a small one and a bigger one, full frame and a crop sensor one. And I took both uh, today, just uh, to make life a bit easier because as you can see this one has a zoom lens on it right now. Usually what I do is I change the lens to a wide angle lens if I want to uh, film something with my face on like now and then I change back to zoom lens when I want to show some details somewhere in the landscape but um, that can be a bit tricky I tend to get a dirty sensor because of that because the sensor is a bit exposed when you change the lens so some dust can uh, get on the sensor so I tried this way today and um, yeah shooting with this zoom lens got me thinking of uh, well not only shooting with the zoom lens but I had a feeling there was a wolf close by today apparently there's a wolf pack around and my gut feeling said there was a wolf close by I hope one day I can capture it on camera um, so I might want to buy an even bigger zoom lens at some point but yeah that's a bit of an investment so gotta earn some money first hopefully this week I know if I can work for Alaya in marketing but this one is a Sigma 100-400 it's pretty chill it's not too expensive it's good to start with as a zoom lens. I also had a 7200 in the past, which is chill but doesn't have a whole lot of zoom. This one can get pretty far. Show you some examples right now.
So why is my face so blue? I'm behind my computer and I um, wanted to take you a bit into my editing process to show you that there's quite some work to do after you take a photo. It's just a thing I want to share. You can either learn from it, you can do nothing with it, but it's quite nice to show you the before and after, I think. So, let's dive into my computer and open up Lightroom. I have the images imported, the before and after. And uh, as you can see here, this was the original image that came from the drone. Looks quite blue is the first thing that uh, catches my eye and then it's quite dark too so I started working a bit on the lighting first with this slider I mean Lightroom Adobe Lightroom I think it's quite a nice program to edit photos it does cost you some money but um, it's pretty chill here we have a pipette and the pipette, we can drop it on the white so that it will choose that white as the neutral white and it adapts the rest of the color. So right now the drone sort of chose this uh, color profile and it's way too blue. Can be nice if you're looking for that effect, but um, I want to have it a bit more neutral. So I just click a white there. Now it's maybe a bit too yellow. That happens. So I'm just working my way down. And then I would dive into the highlights. Just shovel the sliders around a bit. see what looks good you have a lot of options I'm not gonna go through all of them I'll probably do that when I'm famous and people pay for it but right now I'll just show you the basics this slider dehaze it's called in English is pretty chill I use it sometimes to get some more contrast in and we need some more contrast anyway what you can do too here is uh, change the UE and the saturation and the luminance and uh, the UE is just the overall color sort of of the image so you can make it into a more pinkish purple image or whatever like sometimes there's one color that is just a bit off and then you adapt it with that slider I don't think I need to right now the saturation well there's not a lot of color in here anyways but you see if I pull it up it mainly catches the blue ones to go higher and then it looks really unnatural so I'm not gonna do that neither but it's just to show you what you can do and then luminance is how how bright the color is well, it's actually Pretty nice. You can see a bit of a dark edge around a vignette. Normally, with a, ca a camera like this one, like the Sony, you can select this one and it will correct the vignetting. But here, could also be quite nice actually it draws you into the middle what you can also do is use uh, masks it's actually I think what makes a picture stand out I'm not too good at it yet I just had a course online course in how to apply those a bit better and a bit more conscious because you can people that like always draw 
a mask for instance from the top down to make the sky dark and do that and I don't really like it when it's always like that um, so you have to know how to use it you can use it in a lot of different ways you can use a pencil for instance right here and then you can make it bigger smaller and you can go over some trees for instance this is just an example it's not gonna look good and you can make those brighter so now it looks really unnatural now super unnatural but if you just tweak it a little bit it can be quite nice like now I feel like doesn't even look too bad. Probably a veteran photographer would see it straight away, you know, that I applied this pencil, but maybe uh, you don't. So I applied a mask to the top. To the right side, you can do it here too. You want to make it into a balanced image, that's what I always learn from others. I'm just showing you what's possible. What you could also do, for instance, is use this radial filter. you apply it to the middle for instance you can even use turn it around uh, invert sorry you know what I'm actually liking it doing it this way having the middle part really white and bright and the edge is quite dark it's a bit I would say quite an average edit like it's not in my opinion standing out or anything it's just a nice image it looks pleasing to the eye I think and this was taken with my little drone so if you zoom in a lot you can see there's quite some noise because it has a small sensor um, what you could do is apply a mask for instance to sharpen and then I think it's gonna be hard to see in uh, on the image itself but um, it sharpens the uh, the photo itself a little bit so it takes out the grainy uh, parts a bit um, what I'm gonna try soon though is uh, AI to remove noise noise is the grainy part that you see that makes it look a bit blurry and not sharp but there's some really good AI artificial intelligence nowadays that helps you take out and sharpen your photo in the post-production in the edit and I saw someone using it and it looked pretty nice so I'm gonna probably buy some of that soon to see just what it does because apparently it works really well I like it with a bit more contrast though and I'll show you how blue you can make it I think that this looks really unnatural okay I did an edit already which I'm also gonna show you it looks quite different for one the size I already made the other one in a 10 by 8 or 4 by 5 because that's the size that's nice for Instagram so in this uh, tab you can reshape your image and it can be really helpful if only one part of the image 
for instance is uh, is nice like there's an object in there and you want to take out a bit of the distracting features on the outside of the image so I use this tool usually from the start I skipped it now but it usually I it's the first thing I do just to make it a better image so you call this cropping and um, yeah it allows you to make an image much better and much more focused on the composition like you can make a bit of a tweak to your composition I think in the field it's already super important to make a good composition of course but this helps you to take out some of the bits that uh, yeah, that you don't want to see in your image you can also turn your image around but that's fine for now and yeah there's different sizes here usually when I do prints I do it 2 by 3 but on the gram I on the Instagram you use 4 by 5 and just see how it looks it's quite nice Which one do you like better? Left one or the right one? Quite stoked on the right one to be honest. That's the thing, sometimes I edit photos from two years ago and I get a new image out of it because of the edit. You can suddenly see the value in an image for instance that you didn't edit before or you see a nice line or composition in an image and you start to edit and turns out to be a great image so what you can do after that is uh, export the image which is saving the image I'm just gonna put it on my desktop in uh, full resolution export and I'll show you there we have it pretty nice huh I like it so we went from this bluish looking top down image with the drone to this one and again I didn't spend that much time choosing the location or whatever it was more to set it as an example shot because for instance this tree right here I don't really like it so you can take out parts of the image in Lightroom too but it is just an extra hassle so you kinda wanna have the nice photo in the first place so next time I would just fly a bit more to look for a bit more nice uh, set of trees I'm gonna show you a few more images that uh, I edited and uh, before and after